Today we learned of the passing of a media giant, Sumner Redstone, the chairman emeritus of our parent company, Viacom CBS. He was 97 years old. Redstone grew a small chain of movie theaters into a media empire, once declaring content is king. CBS's Mark Strassman has a look back. Sumner Redstone was a colossus in the business of media and in life. I've said winning is everything as long as you win fairly. I think I'm driven to succeed. That relentless drive began early for this son of Boston. Born into little, he earned undergraduate and law degrees from Harvard. At 28, he left a lucrative law career to take over his family's business. My father built what was the third driving theater in the United States, which was the Sunrise Auto Theater. Redstone built National Amusements, one of America's largest movie theater chains. He sued all the major Hollywood studios for profiteering and won, then bulldozed the drive-ins to create a new movie house experience, multiplexes. In 1979, he almost died in a hotel fire. He clung from an upper floor window ledge until firefighters rescued him. Third degree burns covered 45% of his body. He recovered and drove himself harder. In 1987, he bought and expanded Viacom. Paramount Studios became his. By 1999, Viacom merged with CBS. In the early 2000s, a cancer diagnosis gave him months to live. Redstone scared even cancer, living for almost two more decades. Sometimes it was difficult, but it was always exciting. He never wanted to retire or die. Today he did at home in Los Angeles, blowing kisses to his family on FaceTime. Sumner Redstone always had the last word. He toasted himself once saying, here's to us who won. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Atlanta.